What's up everybody? Welcome back to the shed for another new tool. Another new tool review for your viewing pleasure. This is another uh, tool sent to me by the Home Depot for my review. And this is the Milwaukee M18 Radius Light with floodlight mode. Yes. This is the baddest work light I've ever used. This is going to be a real easy video. I like, I love doing videos about stuff that kicks ass and, and, and is enjoyable to use because it's, um, it's just easier. It's easier to do. I love doing videos of stuff that's awesome. <laughs> and this is one of those things. Um, it's perfect. It's, I feel like they went through a lot of revisions, a lot of, uh, prototypes and revisions before they've settled on this final design because it is uh, probably my favorite light in their whole line and I I don't own any of the other ones but I've worked with I, some of my co-workers have different ones and um, I'm like okay that's pretty cool and a lot of them are mainly one person task lighting um, some of the other more expensive ones the larger ones you know you can light up a whole area and have multiple people working but all the ones that I've seen um, for pretty much like yeah, pretty much one person. This, I had three people working under just this one light for six hours. And uh, it was so awesome that one of the people that was working under this light um, went out and got one themselves, like, the next day. So now we're rocking two of them, and it's even better. But we were capable of working in, in the complete darkness in a room with no windows and uh, a door, a long hallway. So we weren't getting any ambient light from anywhere else. We had to shut the whole building down. And uh, three of us got the job done in six hours with this thing. And uh, it was awesome. So let me just go over the features. There's not a lot of features. It is just light. But it has, uh, for me, or my opinion, I think it has like the perfect amount of features. Um, first off, this main dome light here, the radius light itself, is 2200 lumens. If you know your lumens, that's a lot of lumens. That's a whole boatload of lumens. And it's not like a flashlight. Like a 2200 lumen flashlight's pretty damn bright, but where you're pointing the flashlight over here or over here, that's 2200 lumens all the way around. Um, and the floodlight mode is a thousand lumens in a spotlight, so that's a thousand concentrated in one area. Um, the one of the great things about it is it's not. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's not too bright. It's not. It's not so bright you can't look directly at it. If you've ever used some crazy bright LED, um, I, I can think of one, that LED itself is this big. If you were to look at that, you'd be blind for a couple of minutes after that. The great thing about this is you could look directly at it and it doesn't burn little holes, little black spots into your eyes. But yet, it's still bright enough to light up an entire damn room, no problem. So let me let me set it back here. Let me give you. It's not, I'm not going to be able to convey the brightness or, or how well it is, how well it works, um, you know, through video, through the YouTube and the internet. But just to show you, um, one cool thing is when you turn it on, it kind of dims up. I don't know what they had to do to make it do that, but that's cool. <laughs> I like it. So you turn it on, and that's bright. That's full blown brightness. Um, I could turn the light off in the shed now, and I could probably with it just sitting all the way over here on one side of the shed. I could work all over the shed, no problem, with just this one light. Um, and then you have the brightness settings. It's a little bit dimmer. And that's that's almost like a mood light. Like, if you had four or five of these, and you had, like, a nice tiki party in your backyard, you could just kind of periodically, or sporadically, actually, set them around your yard. And it would be great, like, instead of having uh, tiki torches, you just have these things. Put them all over the yard. So... And, or if you got to just, you know, you only need a little bit of light. You can just set it right next to what you're working on, and that lowest setting is going to do it. Then you have floodlight mode. Turns that on. And I know the LEDs are screwing with the frequency of the camera and all, but that also has three brightness settings, that being the lowest, full blast, medium, and low. Uh, Milwaukee is claiming 18 hours of runtime on this. Up to 18 hours of runtime with a 5 amp hour battery. Uh, if you're working in the dark for 18 hours <laughs> and you need an auxiliary light, uh, I feel bad for you. I'm hoping you're making good money, but 18 hours is plenty. And who doesn't have more than one battery anyway? Even if this thing had a 3 hour runtime, I'd still be okay with it. 
you, you run you know swap out the batteries a couple times in a day um ah, okay there we go it's it was a pleasure to use it really was and like i said it, I, one of my coworkers was so impressed by it that they went out and got one the next day so we got two of them now and it's even better and you know what he does with his you want to know what he does with his he does this he hangs it upside down so we got one in the top of the room one on the floor and let me tell you um you don't need any more light than that you got this big four inch hook on the bottom um it has a little dimple or a little divot in it so you can hang it off a piece of pipe or something narrower and it would center it's you know have its center of gravity in the middle it wouldn't be sliding, you know, it wouldn't, you wouldn't have to balance it. And then if you want to hang it on a 2x4, four, 4x4, four four, a big piece of engineered lumber, whatever the hell you got above that you want to hang it from, this pretty versatile clip. So he's just been hanging his off a piece of pipe, and uh, we had a little bit more work. We had to do another, like, hour-long shutdown, and we had both of these running, and it was awesome. It was almost as bright as the fluorescence that we installed in the room. And then last, a little trick this thing has of its sleeve. Hey, can you see that? That's where you plug an extension cord in. It runs off AC power. You don't even need batteries. So if you've got no lights, but you do have an extension cord, this thing still got you covered. Um, you have a little handle on there, nice and sturdy. I can attest to its sturdiness. Um, I, I had this sitting on the end of a scissor lift, and I was going way up in the ceiling above the lights, and the lights that were in the warehouse were only on, on the other side. And I couldn't really see into this junction box that well. So I threw it on the scissor lift. I went all the way up. I did one little thing. And then it was just sitting on my lift all day. Well, I went to go to lunch. And the base lift all the way down. The base of the lift is about four foot off the ground. And I kicked it off the back of the lift. Before, obviously, before this video. I'm like, oh, oh no, oh no. I just broke this thing before I even got a chance to, to review it. Well, no, it... It fell a couple feet, it hit one of the steps, and then shot across the floor like 15 foot. Now, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, that other light's kind of screwing this up. I got some scuff marks here. Scratched up the Milwaukee logo a little bit. Um, I know the floodlight bezel got some scratches. I don't know if you can really tell, but it took pretty violent tumble, and uh, I was really afraid it was broken. And then... Um, I remember reading that this is high impact polycarbonate plastic. So, you know, it's going to take some tumbles. It's, you know, you know, you can, you know, it's going to do that. People are going to kick it over. No biggie. You might hang it from something that's maybe not that sturdy and it falls to the floor. I, I really don't really, uh, I really don't think there's going to be too many issues with damaging it. I'm going to scratch it all to hell. I know that, but as far as actually breaking it, um, I don't think so. I'd be surprised. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, one of the last things I wanted to mention is that the LEDs themselves, the actual light-emitting diodes, have a limited lifetime warranty, uh, which means, basically, they're not going to burn out. They're not going to burn out on you. And if they do, Milwaukee's going to fix it for you. Now, obviously, if the thing gets run over by a bulldozer, they, you're, you're screwed. You're, they're not going to help you out. <laughs> they still might help you out, but they're not gonna, that, that's not going to fall under the limited lifetime warranty for the LEDs. Um, so we, that means that they've got some high quality LEDs in here that they've a lot of confidence in. So you spend 150 bucks on a light, you don't have to worry about it burning out because it's not really serviceable. It's not like you can change these out, like you can go on the website and buy more. Um, no, they're supposed to last as long as this whole light will. So like I said, it's uh, it's been a joy to use. I wouldn't change a damn thing about it. It runs off AC. It runs off 18 volts. It looks like you could definitely fit one of the 9 amp hour batteries, the big the big Hoss 9 amp hour battery under there too. So, uh, three brightness settings. We got the radius, the floodlight, a little handle, hook on the bottom, AC power. Like it's it's perfect. It's awesome. So, um, like I said, it's been a joy to use and. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. It's, it's awesome. So, thanks for watching.